right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can decorate another page in our altered book journal, and we're going to be using napkins. So this color here is just absolutely perfect. I got this in a swap in our junk journal group. Oh, junk journal group, yeah, well it is a junk journal group. <laughs> On Facebook, Junk Journal Junction. So if you just a quick reminder of what's going on in the book, this page I did in the last video, and I found this button. I'm gonna use that button right here in the center. I'm not quite sure yet, but I think, I, I think I'm think i really leaning toward that button. And then going back this way, show you some of the other pages, what I've already done with you, so here we go. So today is all about, let's use the napkin and get this next section of the book done. So since we're going to do a napkin, we don't need to do any kind of other prep work except put down our glue. And I'm using Aileen's Tacky Glue and Mod Podge Mixture. Hi, I'm Marcia. Welcome back to Markets of Sunshine, the channel for you to learn all types of different crafts and paper crafting, sewing, fiber art, embroidery, I cover a wide variety here on my channel just to keep things lively and you will never get bored. So I mean let's face it, how many different things do you want to make of the same thing over and over and over? It's kind of like a, think of it like your diet. You don't eat the same food every single day. You get bored out of your mind. So it's the same thing with crafting. You don't want to just keep making the same type of craft over and over and over. You want to add variety. That's the spice of life. So here at Markets of Sunshine, that's what I do. I add variety in my projects, in my videos, so that you're not just getting the same old thing over and over and over. So I will show you different ways to embellish your junk journal pages, how to make a junk journal, how to do embroidery on a junk journal page with, as an embellishment, how to add um, different fibers and fabrics to your junk journal pages, as well as now we're into our altered book series. So I've done several junk journals with you. I like uh, my preference is the soft cover fabric covers and so I um, have shown you how to do that, how, what I use to cover, uh, to, to have a base for it. I've shown you what my preference is there. So you've seen all of that, all of the, the, that variety. And so now we're here in the Altered Book series. So this Altered Book series, this is my favorite. I love to take an old book and alter the pages and then make it into a journal. I can do it into a weekly planner, a bullet journal, a gratitude journal, a scrapbook album. So even a junk journal can be used as a scrapbook album. You can put photos in anything. So don't lock yourself into um, what is termed a certain way that you are locked into that. That is not the case. You can make anything a photo album, scrapbook album as we call them now. So um, so the same thing with this. I mean I'm, I'm going to be adding photos in here and I've really been having a great time with my friends on Zoom doing a, a craft party. So I just did that with some of my friends, and it was wonderful. I met ladies from all over the world. We had joining us from Puerto Rico, Scotland, uh, Maine to Florida, Georgia. Just a wonderful, wonderful time that we had. So I'm going to be doing that, and I've got an invitation on my Instagram channel. So if you head over there and you are um, one of my spiritual sisters, then you will see 
the invitation is there for you. So I need to know you, and I need you need to be referred by somebody um, in order to get into that craft party. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there and give you the idea to do that with your own friends and family and let you know what is available for you and the possibilities that uh, you can do this with your friends and family. So invite your friends. You can also, this is another great white idea, is you can do a Zoom craft party with one of my videos. So you can invite your friends and family that want to do crafting together and you just come over to my channel and you play the video and then everybody can learn from me how to do a particular type of craft. So if it's a junk journal video or the um, this altered book series now that I'm doing. So I don't know if you knew that you could do that on Zoom, but you can play videos right there on Zoom together with your friends and family and learn all kinds of fun crafting things together. So you could learn to paint together. You can do that on a painting, uh, somebody's painting channel. So anything that you want to learn to do. So I, I'm just letting you know that, giving you that idea so that you can host your own craft party with friends and family and they would absolutely love it. So now what I was looking for, I turned this around so many times is it had tears in different places. So now this got, it has a little bit of a tear here, which is fine. That's, I'm not gonna, that's not gonna hinder me at all. So what I'll do is I'll, once I take the napkin away from the edges here, then I will fill that in with a spot. So what I usually like to do is have a jar of water. So let me put a little bit of water here and then I'll show you how I take the napkin off. So you just wet it a little bit, which I'm gonna try to get some of this glue out. And I put wax paper underneath and then I just come here like this, wet the napkin a little bit and then it will easily tear away from your page. Just go slow, don't, don't get in a hurry and try to rush it and then you're going to ruin it. So. Okay, so there's that piece, and now I can take a piece from here and add it to this little piece over here that was missing. Yep, so give that a try. Host your own Zoom craft party with your friends and family, people that you know. You want it to be people that you know. You know, you're going to have a better time uh, that way. You're not, it, it's not going to be fun to do it with total strangers. All right, so now I'm just coming back in here while I have the brush a wee bit wet. And now I just want it here. And I'm just, I am gonna go down the center of the crease of the book because it's gonna tear on me anyway later on. But I need to just get that off of there. So I'm just using the edge of the book page as my guide. And I'm just gently Gently, gently, gently. Okay, we did it! Yay! All done now. So now let me just come in here. A little bit of water, like I said. And just get that down on there with the glue that I put on the page.
So you can see the book writing through some of the white areas. So the darker areas, obviously, you're not going to see that. But if you have any white area, obviously, you're going to see that. All right, let me take just a smidgen. And we're going to put a little bit of glue here. And then I'm going to put a little bit over here where this tore. I'm just going to tear off a little piece and lay it right on top. And again, I'm just wetting my brush a little bit. And then I just need a little smidgen on here. Get it brushed wet a little bit more. There we go. Purposely, I'm mashing it into the crease. I want it to. I don't want it to dry. Then when I close it, it's going to rip. So you want it to rip now naturally by just keeping the brush a little bit wet, just tapping, tapping, tapping. Okay, there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to take a little bit of glue here, come up underneath of that spot. Okay. There we go. A little bit there. All right, so that's it. So quick and easy to embellish a page in your altered book journal using a napkin. Now, a tip about using napkins, if you didn't know this already, is that there's two layers of paper underneath the napkin. So when you get your napkin, you take a piece of scotch tape, turn your napkin over, and then just put it on there and then just peel it and it will take the two layers off and you just gently gently peel it and then you'll get this final very thin almost transparent piece of napkin left over so that is our quick and easy tutorial for today and in the next video it's going to be introducing my 300 subscriber giveaway I am at 250 54 subscribers, I believe, by the time I'm recording this video. Today is Sunday, December 27th. <laughs> oh, I had to figure out what day was it. Um, and then, so, watching this video, we are only 46 subscribers away from 300 so thank you so much wonderful community that we have going on here i appreciate each and every one of you your support is so so appreciated and um so it's not about the numbers you're not i don't look at you as a number but it's like to have a successful channel on youtube you have to grow that's all part of the community that's part of your being on youtube and to begin with um, is to grow a little creative community of like-minded people. So that's what I'm trying to do here. And I will be uh, talking about that giveaway in the next video. So I will link it um, on a playlist. And I will have a new playlist of all of my giveaways. So this is going to be in my altered book playlist. So you can click on the playlist. I'll put that at the end screen. So watch this all the way to the end to get that click on that link it'll be at the top of the page and then you'll get to see start to finish how to start an altered book journal what you need all the supplies it's very simple and easy and that's one thing that you'll learn on my channel I keep it simple I do not like to complicate things 
and even things that I've learned how to do that may look complicated at first, but then once you start breaking it down and uh, talking about the details and uh, deconstructing it, then you see, oh, well, that's not hard. That is easy. But when you first look at something, you don't know what to do. You've never done it before. So it does look a little bit, you know, difficult. So all of the projects on my channel are going to be for beginner to intermediate levels of crafting skills. So if you're brand new to the altered book world, welcome and welcome to my channel. I hope you'll subscribe and join in this fun adventure with me. And we will have a great 2021. My motto is be a kind human. So everything I'm going to be posting in 2021 is going to be uh, revolving around that theme. And I'm going to also start a new series in 2021, which I will announce January with my first video of January 1st. So come back and stay tuned for that so that you can see what my fun new theory series is going to be. So with this Be a Kind Human, but I've got a little twist with it. So I just came upon that idea today and I said, oh, that's going to be perfect with my, you know, whole um, kindness theme going on for 2021. And we definitely need that. So, all right. Thank you again. And I will see you in the next video. Thank Have a great crafting day. Bye-bye.